Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sheboygan Lutheran, where today we have WIA Tournament Action Division 5. Tonight, Sheboygan Lutheran will be hosting the Oneida Nation. I'm the coach, Chris Wright, and joining me is Jeff Razorberg. Marty's in uh, Philadelphia today doing some baseball meetings and things. First of all, Jeff, thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, it's my pleasure, Chris. This is quite a feat and honor for me to be here. I hope I can live up to Marty's standards. <laughs> well, one of the things I thought about bringing uh, Jeff in is his wife is a teacher here and his son goes to school and he had a few daughters here and why don't you talk a little bit about the atmosphere and the way it's been here at Lutheran the entire year it's just electrified Lutheran comes in at 19 and 4 and it's been a great year well it's been an awesome year Chris uh, the parents are so excited to see their kids uh, be involved in a in a in a scenario like this where the team is doing so well uh, the kids are excited and yet the kids I think are, are trying to keep even keeled and go about their business. Yeah, and it's one of those things too is you got situations, it's a very small school, you know, in a town like this where most people follow, you know, north and south, you forget about the small schools, but there's a lot of people that have been coming out to these games and Sheboygan North played this afternoon, so there's a lot of basketball people that are here to watch this team play and it should be pretty electrifying. It, it's just, every game is like this, Chris, and as, it, as the season has gone on and we're getting into the tournament time, it's just, uh, you can feel the goosebumps in the air. You know, it's it's exciting. Well, we both talked before tonight, you know, they're playing Oneida Nations, a team that probably most people don't know about. They're a team that comes in 17 and six. They're an independent team, so they don't really play in a conference. So to really tell how good they are and not good they are is, is, is gonna be a difficult thing. One thing we do know, I did talk to Coach Decker, and he said maybe our press can work a little bit, and. Sheboygan Lutheran does have some guards and some players that can put some pressure on people. Oh, definitely, Chris. Uh, our guards are good defenders. Um, they're good three-point shooters. We've got uh, Young Jers and Wheeler can shoot the three. And, of course, Zastro can penetrate and shoot the three. Uh, so I, I think, you know, playing in a tough conference against Oosberg and, and uh with the excitement and all that pressure during the year, I think they'll be okay. Yeah, I do too. And, you know, playing at home is a definite advantage, but you know, in the tournaments, it's one and out, so you got to have your A game all the time. I thought Coach Decker did an outstanding job this year prepping his teams. They played a very strong schedule. You already mentioned Falls. They played Oostburg, Cuba City, Racine, Lutheran. I mean, they are battle-tested, so they are, are tournament ready. I, I, think we're, I think we're ready to go, Chris. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, you never know what, what's going to happen, so you have to, you know, you have to keep yourself under control and, and hope for the best. Now, one thing we haven't mentioned yet, some guy by the number one or something, Sam Decker, a really good basketball player going to the University of Wisconsin next year. He's kind of, you know, taking a senior leadership a little bit, putting the team on his back, but, you know, and I think that's the way he wants. He wants to get to that state tournament, and I think each game is important for Sam, too. Oh, I agree. You know, and I've been watching Sam play since he was in sixth grade. And through the years, uh, what always impresses me is he's a pretty unselfish player, and at the same time, he's got the skills to dominate a game. Uh, uh, his attitude about the game and about his players and the school, it's pretty amazing. It really is. Well, with that, we had some pretty good comments. When we return, we'll have the starting lineups for tonight's game. April. Yeah? You know your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. Hey, Mom, how about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Combat, explosions, two female warriors, exposed cleavage. Uh, maybe the other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today, and with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. If you're looking for a way to earn some extra cash, why not be... 
be sad. Yeah, come on, you promised. Well, the deal was you had to finish your homework first. Okay. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Tips on staying involved. Just one of the many ways PTA can help enrich your child's learning experience and life. Join us today. PTA. Every child, one voice. Welcome back, everybody. The Oneida Nation Thunderhawks are now being introduced. They're gonna have Anthony Cornelius. He's number five, he is a senior. Number 15, and as a junior, is Mike Mills. Number 22 is another junior, Devante Pointer. 23 is Comanche Jordan. He leads the squad, he's 6'4", and he's got 13.6 points a game. And rounding out the starting lineup for the United Nations, number 24, Jojo Santiago. Oneida Nation just has eight players this year on their squad, so we'll see how that works out in a game if there's a lot of fouls, but we'll have to wait and see. And here come your uh, CLC champion Crusaders from Sheboygan Lutheran. The big man in the middle there, number 35, Nick Redeker, is a 6'4 senior. Tyler Zastro, second leading scorer. Tyler Zastro, 15 points a game. The other sophomore in the starting lineup is number 23, Phil Lightpalm. 6'2 senior, senior. As Jeff mentioned in the opening, likes to shoot some threes, Josh Wheeler. And rounding out the uh, starting lineup will be Sam Decker. Came the sixth all-time leading scorer in the state. He's averaging 32 and a half points. And uh, for those of you just joining us, Marty's in Philadelphia. Got Jeff Razorberg here. Had some kids go to school here. Has a current son and his wife also teaches here. At first I've been noticing that uh, Lutheran likes to uh, try to get the ball to Sam on the dunk early after the tip. So uh, if the ball goes to Zastro, look for, uh, see if they can get it to Sam underneath right away. So Nida Nation comes off of a victory over Niagara, 45 to 30, and in a 16 versus one seed game, Lena came here the other night and got pounded, 83 to 37. But every step of the ladder to the state tournament gets a little tougher, and we'll see how Lutheran steps up tonight. Lutheran gets the first crack. See Jojo Santiago's on Decker. Here's Wheeler, number five. Seems like on the first possessions all year, uh, Jeff, that Lutheran really is patient on offense. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it kind of changes. We're gonna get a turnover right off the bat. Well, I think they like to get and run a little bit and uh, to get out of their patient mode. Right away, Lutheran's gonna come out and put some pressure on the Oneida Nation. With only eight players, maybe that uh, would wear them down, and if their guard play's not as strong, this could be the key. 24, that's Jojo Santiago. Comanche Jordan's number 23, he's their leading scorer, let's watch him. That's Mills, off the bank and in. In warm-ups, Chris, uh, Mills look very fluid and, and limber. Very athletic. Picks up his first foul. Head coach for the United Nation is Scott Murray. Sam gets an opportunity to make some free throws and he hits the first one. Ties up the game at two. Pressure by Zastro. On pointer. Pointer trying to get to the basket. Cut off by Zastro. 
Redeker playing the D on Mills. I think Sheboygan Lutheran plays really good D, Jeff. Yes, I think that's part of the part of their success. They saw a shot attempt by Santiago goes off. I believe Light Palms pause there. Another key for Lutheran, of course, is, is uh, Decker's rebounding. Uh, just really helps the flow of their offense uh, between the fast break, keeps them moving. They keep pressure on the guards outside and, and help him to, to get the boards on missed shots. Wow, Oneida Nation being very patient on this possession. They get a reach and foul there. I think they're going to get Nick Redeker on his first personal. One foul piece. It's early on, 6-17 in the first quarter. 2-2 two two is our score, and there's a turnover by the Oneida Nation. Here's Lipon right to the rack, and he's fouled by Jojo Santiago. And again, Lutheran will be at the free throw line. Hmm. The block didn't look too bad, Chris, but uh, must have got enough of the body and the arm at the same time. Well, I know these officials are from Fond du Lac, and I thought that all WIA tournament games would have three officials, but I see we only have two yeah. tonight. A one of two trip for Lipom makes it three to two. Get open, Jojo. There he is. Devontae Ponter. Over to Jordan. Big hands of Decker got a hand on there. And now it does go out of bounds and there's the second turnover now. Chris, I've been watching Lipom play defense on Jojo and he's just face guarding him uh, off the ball tight wherever he is, not sagging into the middle. I think that's part of what they want to do is work, make him work to get the ball. Very interesting matchup there as you see the much smaller Santiago on the 6'8 Decker. There's a nice rebound by Redeker off the Decker miss. And I think we're getting a third foul now on the Oneida Nation. I think that's going to be number two on Santiago. And as we mentioned before, Jeff, one thing they cannot do is get in foul trouble because they just don't have a lot of guys. Right, right. Lipom on the trigger. Redeker, Wheeler, Lipom, the swing to Lipom, dumping to Decker. Almost automatic. Oof. There you see a good shot of Todd Decker. Very successful career here at Lutheran, both as a JV and varsity coach. And we're gonna get a timeout by Oneida Nation. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout, Jeff. And uh, obviously getting uh, Oneida Nation in foul trouble is gonna help Lutheran later on, oh, Jeff. Oh, definitely. I think, uh, I think that's the reason they took their, their timeout right now, Chris, is to calm down and try to regroup and, and stop the bleeding. Uh, well, at this rate, it doesn't look too good if they continue to fall. Well, we mentioned before that you know they're, they are an independent team. They don't play in a regular league. They did play Green Bay West twice. Who's, it is part of the, uh, the uh, Classic Conference, but West's not a very good basketball team. They split with them, but I'm sure they don't play the uh, players of the caliber of Sam Decker and Zastro and these type players. This is a pretty good Lutheran squad, and uh, there's a good shot of Coach... Murray, but uh, another missed free throw for Lutheran. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They really struggled in that game against Ozaki at the free throw line, and right away here, they're 50%, three of six, and they, they gotta be better in the tournament. Right, right. On the line. It makes you wonder if they're a little tight, or, or what the problem is, if they're worried. Let's relax and make a shot. Well, this is Mills. Shot off and miss. Lipom with the rebound. Wheeler on a bust out should be two easily, and it is. It's nice to see Wheeler get up and on that layup. I know in track season he's a six foot high jumper, so he does have <laughs> the ups. Well, there's a dipsy do by Santiago. Doesn't fall. Redeker and Wheeler battling for the rebound, and Lipom gets the. Uh, 
the stat there instead. There goes Lightbomb easily down the middle of the lane and scores. That's Lightbomb's game, Chris. You, if he gets to be slashing to the basket, uh, it really helps the movement of the ball for Lutheran. That's an interesting play there off the head, and it's going to be a chip ball, Chris. Official. Because I hit ball. his head? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, my. Oh, I don't know about block. that. Zastro was there for a while. That ends the 7-0 uh, run by Lutheran, and we're going to get a block. I don't know how. But that's going to be the first foul on Zastro. Second team foul on uh, Sheboygan Lutheran. He has to call it like he sees it. Light bomb wide open. Decker, Sky score, gets the rebound off the light bomb miss. There's light bomb. Second chance. Yeah. Bingo. Very nice. You could watch Sam, uh, Sam's eyes. He was looking for that all the way, Chris. The light bomb found the open spot, and Sam hit him. Jeff Hess, the sophomore, ready to come in for Lutheran. We're at the 337 mark. It's 9 to 5. Lutheran. There's an outside shot there by Cornelius, and he bangs it home. Missed by Lutheran on this end. 9 to 8 our score. 313 left. Jordan, number 23, leading scorer, yet to score for the Oneida Nation. Here's Ponter with a wide open off the screen of Mills. Bangs off there. Decker with another big rebound. He should control the boards all night. Back to Sam. Swing to disaster. This one's up. And good for three. As soon as Sam got that rebound, he's looking down the court right away. Found Wheeler on the wing. And Swung it right over to Zastro. 12-8 now, two and a half minutes in the first quarter. Jojo Santiago trying to swings it to Mills. It takes a jumper. It's off the rim and another Decker rebound. There's Decker. Two guys underneath. Redeker. Good. Good passing by uh, Decker. And we got another turnover on the United Nation. That's three I have for them, Jeff. I think that's right, Chris. I, you know that light bomb's coming out. It what makes you think that uh, Decker is wanting to keep pressure on, on uh, 24 on Santiago. Diego Matoxin comes in for the United Nation. He wears number 12. Wheeler with the easy basket. Nice. Right off the screen. And all this leads 16 to 8, and Sam's only got two points. <laughs> yes. Well, he's he, he's got a number of assists. He's looking for the looking for the open man. Uh, reach in on Hess. Yep. Because he didn't get the uh, rebound, I think, there, and Mills right there to clean up the garbage. And it's a poke in there by uh, Hess. 13 foul on Lutheran. Misses a free throw and another Decker rebound. 16 to 10 our score. Decker at the circle, swings it to Wheeler. I'm trying to feed it into Redeker, who's got a big size advantage over Santiago, who also has some foul situations. Mm -hmm. Looks like some type of zone here maybe played by the Oneida Nation, it is. You gotta keep swinging it, and they do over to Zastro, and you know that one's up. You know, couldn't get it, but a nice rebound by Hess. Back to Zastro, you know he's gonna shoot. Oh, <laughs> basket doesn't want it. No, it came. It was in and it came out. Good offensive attack there by Lutheran. Too bad they couldn't get any points. Yep. I know Lutheran hasn't seen many zones this year, and uh, they're doing, they're handling it pretty well, Chris. I think uh, Sam knows he's got to look cross court, look underneath, uh, find that open hole in the back yep. of the zone. 
Now it looks like a 1-3-1, one, one, and it's a chippy foul oh. there by Mike Mills. That'll be Third a team, foul. five team fouls. Pretty Third big. personal foul, and we were uh, just under a minute of the first quarter, and that is not a good thing for uh, the United Nation. Oh, he's pretty visibly upset about it. And like I said, when you just have eight players, that's just going to make it a, a as a, over the long period, I think that's just going to hurt Jeff. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jacob Jurst in the game, the freshman, he's the third leading scorer. He comes in at 8.6 points a game. Has a nice three-point shot, shot and has really improved as the year goes on. There it is. Jurst from the outside, missed, but that's going to be off. Cornelius there, and of course, Jacob's dad's a very successful cross-country coach here. Mm -hmm. And uh, state titles and things that a lot of people don't know about, but the cross-country squads have been really good out here, and there's Sam gets a couple. Yeah, yeah Jeff Jersey does a good job uh, building uh, energy and enth enthusiasm with his runners. Uh, uh, my son has run two years for Jeff and just loves Jeff. Uh, believes in what he's got to say. Part of the curriculum out here uh, is as juniors, they take Christian leadership, and Jeff teaches that course, so but they get to know him pretty well as a, as a Christian, which is what the, the main purpose of uh, Lutheran High is, is to teach our kids to be Christian leaders, so he's a good guy. Jake is a good defender. Uh, he's fairly quick, can shoot that three. Well, it's time running out of the quarter. You saw a long shot there by Cornelius. Oh, now we're going to get another foul. And if this one's on Santiago, he's got three fouls. And it is. It is. Oh. This, this could be over quickly as the fouls are mounting into the game is Michael Cornelius. He's just a freshman. He comes in averaging 3.7 points a game. Two of the big leaders of the Thunderhawks are now on the bench with three fouls. You know, and they weren't really good fouls either. A lot of them were just, you know, bumps and you know, stuff you can't do. At the buzzer, Sasso misses. And that ends the first quarter with Luther winning 18 to 10. We'll be back in a moment. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Some people might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. Welcome back to Lutheran High, where after one quarter of play, it's 18 to 10. I'm Chris Wright. Join me tonight is Jeff Raisenberg. Mike Martin's doing some baseball work in Philadelphia. We're happy to bring you the broadcast tonight. United Nation with six fouls. The unfortunate thing for that in that first quarter for them is two of them were on the two guys, so they have two of their starters on the bench. And uh, we'll see if Lutheran could kind of break this one open here early in the uh, second quarter and these good swing passes against this zone that should help keeping uh, the United Nation out of foul trouble. Lightbaum drives it, kicks it out to Zastro. He shoots from three-point range. Bingo. Starting to feel it. Chris, it looks like looked like Oneida mixed up their zone a little bit uh, from the end of the first quarter, but Lutheran is able to move the ball. There's a pick by Lightbaum. Another turnover by the United Nation. 
Zastro in, and good. And just like that, it's 23 to 10, and a timeout for the United Nation, and uh, very impressive start for Samoygan Lutheran. It's a full timeout. With that, we'll take a quick break. Have you heard? Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare numbers. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected there you see us are. there. See, you look just as good, better on TV than in real life. <laughs> it's all the cameras and stuff that make us look better. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, I'm liking it, Chris. I'm liking it. <laughs> yeah, the guard, Lutheran's guards play with, uh, with Lipom and Zastro defending the ball. Uh, they're pretty good defenders. They can pick them. As Oneida has to go to their bench, it might be uh, they're really going to have to work to get the ball where they want it in rhythm. And, hey, and there's a basket off the timeout for Oneida, a desperately needed one to cut the lead to 23 to 12. There's Sam. That's a very nice shot, number five. Sam in the paint, paint gets two more. Sam's up to uh, seven points now, 25 to 12. Good defense by Lutheran. If I'm the United Nation, I'm just trying to get to the second half and try to stay within 10, 12 points because uh, the two starters on the bench, they're gonna be uh, tough right. hill to climb. Yeah, and, and uh, Sam is guarding their leading scorer. Uh, they're both kind of winded. And I'll say uh, this too, another pick. I have five turnovers now. <laughs> Sam Decker with an easy two. <laughs> Yeah. That's got to be a little disheartening if you're in the United Nation. Yep, and a nice hard screen. There Another by turnover. Oh. Yep. Another Look slam. Out. Oh my. That's all I can say about that one. 29 to 12, and uh, another timeout the United Nation. They're going to use that up quickly as the uh, yellow, uh, what are they going here? Fuller 30 here. It's going to be a full timeout. With the score, 29 to 12, we'll take a quick break. We are this close. You're right. We are this close. Of our identity. To making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close so to change. making sure no child suffers a crippling disease ever again. This we close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. There you see Scott Murray working, uh, trying to work some magic here, but. Uh, I'll tell you, the magic's being provided by uh, Sheboygan Lutheran as six straight points by uh, Sam Decker and uh, five before that by uh, Zastros made this game from an 18-10 after one quarter to 29-12. to And with five and a half minutes left in the first quarter, Sheboygan Lutheran is setting the tone mm -hmm. for the entire sectional. Yeah, Chris, the United Nations kind of getting the wind knocked out of their sails, and if they're not careful, it's going to fall apart for them here in a hurry. Very good decision, I think, here to bring Santiago back in the game. I'd bring one of my starters back with three fouls and hope he doesn't, you know, doesn't uh, get, you know, that fourth because sure. what's the point of them sitting on the bench and we're down at by 30 to half? You might as well try, try to take a chance right. and just advise them not to foul. Absolutely, otherwise it's going to be too late and, it, and the game's over. Uh, you've got to try to do something. Now they've got Zastro guarding on... Uh, yeah, that's Santiago. Earlier it was uh, Lipom. Now Tyler just got to get his hands off him. He had good 
footwork there, but don't be, you know, hand checking him. Move those feet and get a poke there. And there is another poke and another turnover, which we thought would be a problem for the United Nation. Chris, we talked earlier before the game about uh, Lutheran's attitude and uh, were they able to stay calm or were they gonna be nervous about being in this position? And you can just see that they're out there playing basketball and they're pretty confident with how they play. The winner of this game plays on Monday night against Goodman Pembine be in this place. Here's Decker, he's got light pump on the side. Look out below. Sam looking for a foul there, thought he got one. Another turnover by the United Nation. Oh my, oh it's like practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a Jurst joins in in the fun. Jacob Jurst getting his two points of the ball game. Rebound by, by Jurst. Over to Decker. Freshman stepping in there. By Palm. Cleanly knocked away by Michael Cornelius, the yep. freshman. Nice hands, nice hands. Because of the snow, tonight should have been, you know, the next step in that game, but unfortunately for uh, Lutheran, they have to be uh, playing on Monday. Decker from way downtown, misses Zastro with the rebound, tries to flip it to Zastro, picked up by Wheeler, back to Zastro. He doesn't like to give it up. Yeah, they're gonna get him for a travel. Looking to draw the foul, and I think he dragged his foot a little bit, waiting for the for the contact. Jers coming back into the, or excuse me, Hess coming back into the lineup. Chris, it's interesting that the uh, the winner of this game is going to be playing a team that is a uh, first year co-op team. Last year they were two two independent schools both with in total enrollments under 90. So they combined in a co-op this year. So I, I think that uh, by this time of the year, they should be gelling a little bit, getting yep. used to each other. And the turnovers are mounting. Decker with behind the, behind the back pass, the light bomb. Light bomb likes to go hard to the basket. Lipa, I'm gonna shoot some free throws here. And they make one here. Renninger back in the game for Hess. Lutheran's still pretty small. Three guards out there. Lutheran now five of eight from the line. It's now 35 to 12 with three and a half minutes left in the first half. It's been all Lutheran after the first basket by the Oneida Nation. Foul troubles really hurt them. Why not? Shoot it up, but he stepped on the line, I think. He did. It's going to be another turnover, the 10th turnover for the United Nation. And now coming into the game is Nathan Hosenstein coming in for Jers. Nathan Hosenstein's come up from the JV uh, for the tournament. Uh, he's first man off the bench for the JV group on Tuesday night. First man off the bench again tonight. Now most people don't know that Sheboygan Luton the last couple years has had some pretty nice JV teams. Uh, and so they're battle tested and ready for this year to join uh, Sam and Nick. And a basket there by Sam as we speak. Sam now with just 13 points. I say just, but <laughs> for most people, you know, that's a good game, but when, when you're averaging 32. Right. Well, and Sam's doing a really good job against that zone again, looking for the open man yep. on, the, on the, the weak side. Well, Santiago takes it right to the basket. That looked good. Under control, later up soft off the board. That ended a 12-0 run. Jers with another basket, makes it 39 to 14. He got hammered on top of the head on that one, so the United Nation was lucky to not get another foul call. That's Comanche Jordan, the leading scorer. He has yet, uh-oh. 
A nice easy one there by Sam. Yep. Sam showing a little class on that. Don't need to uh, embarrass our opponents and uh, just a nice easy dunk and another turnover. Jordan, I was mentioning by the United Nation, is yet to score. He's averaging 13 points again. And that could have been the fourth foul right there, a mugging. But they, they're not going to call that, and it's going to be a turnover on Lutheran. Cornelius with the miss, Decker with another rebound. They're trying to slow things down. And a 30-second timeout. Coach Decker talking to the referee, think, voicing his opinion that uh, Osenstein did get mugged. Michael Schuyler and Devontae Ponter coming in for the Oneida Nation. 27 point lead for uh, Lutheran and we thought with the foul trouble and things that this just might happen and we also talked about the turnovers and Oneida right. Nation really struggling taking care of the ball. And Lutheran is, is talented enough when they get those that, that uh, turnover they know how to get, get into the basket. Hey, we're talking about Sam's attitude towards the game and the fact that that last dunk he could have gone in and, and uh, dunked it any which way he, he <laughs> wants to, but he just put it in the hole and went about his business playing basketball. It's nice to see, Chris. There's Lightpalm, number 11, Ben Lightpalm, the 6'4 junior. Swings over to Hasenstein. Ozzy pulls it out. Hasenstein from way downtown, and he nice. contributes. How about that? Look good. Doesn't matter who shoots it up there. They're going in for the team in the green. And there's a screen by Skyler that, uh, you know, Hazenstein's teammates got to help him out there. Definitely. Call, call the screen. Cornelius with a feedback. Shot there by Pointer. It's missed. Another reload as guys are all over the floor. Pointer Steal with by a, a light bomb. Yeah, and another turnover. Couple opportunities for the Thunderhawks, but they wouldn't go in. We're down to 15 seconds in the half. Lutheran by 30. Coach Decker runs a play call here. Lipom with the swing to Jersey at the top, and it's off the board. Hazentine with a about attempt, but it's knocked away. Jersey it's going to be no good. And at the end of first half play, Sheboygan Lutheran 44, the Oneida Nation 14. Look a howler monkey in the eye. Fried ants are delicious. We finished a clinic in our in a rainstorm. Really? My students actually ended up teaching me. In La Keg, a la Keen. Think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. After two months, I was ready to quit, but after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience. To all the Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, thank you for your service to your country and the I'm Owen Yeoman for Peter. I used to eat a lot of meat. Like a lot of people, I never really gave it much thought. But then I saw how violently animals raised for food are treated, and I didn't want to support that. The fact that the meat on my plate was once a living, breathing creature became something I could no longer ignore or justify as food. So I stopped eating meat, just like that. And my body and my conscience feel healthier for it. I'm Owen Yeoman, and I'm a vegetarian. We're back at Lutheran High where you can see Sheboygan Lutheran leads by 30. Leading scorers in the first half for the United Nation. Jojo Santiago with five, Anthony Cornelius with five, and Mike Mills with four. Comanche Jordan, their leading scorer at 13 points a game, got the donut. For Sheboygan Lutheran, they were led by Sam Decker. He had 14. He and Tyler, or excuse me, yeah, Tyler Zastro went on a roll for a while. Zastro ended up with 10. Josh Wheeler had four. Jacob Jersh, four. Phil Lightpalm had five. Nick Redeker, two. And Jeff Hess, or excuse me, not Jeff Hess, Nathan Hazenstein hit that three. 
to round out the scoring for Lutheran. And uh, Jeff, uh, Oneida Nation's in trouble. I think they are, Chris. I, I think they're going to have to put their starters back in and uh, see if they can make a go of it. And down 30 at the half with only 14 points, it doesn't look too good. I, I think they have to be pretty dejected and hard to believe that they're going to come out and win this game. There you see Jeff Razenberg and myself. Mike Martin is, is in Philadelphia today. So Jeff, thanks again so much for uh, coming out. I know you probably would have been here anyways, but. I, that's true, and I, I do appreciate the opportunity, Chris. It's, it's a little nerve wracking, but at the same time, it's, it's fun. And if you can see in the background, and there you also see, we, you can watch us online, on demand, and there's the site to see that. You can see in the background a lot of yellow shirts. They handed out shirts to the fans and things today, which is very nice. It's, it's almost state tournament-like, and uh, that's hopefully the goal of this squad is to get to the big show in Madison. And to make matters worse, Lutheran's going to start with the ball. Decker easily could have taken it to the basket that time, but he decides to pull it out. Zastro to Wheeler. I think, I think if you're Lutheran, you just kind of want to you know, run some offense here and get a little more... I guess you could see, you know, instead of practicing against each other, against somebody well and just hit your spot to come off screens well. Right, right. You know, that's always a, it's always a scary thing when you come out of your, your game to work on something different or, or try to hold back a little bit that you, you run into some problems. I see Lipom coming up a little limpy. Yeah, and the last thing you want is any of your starters to get hurt, and then there was an easy miss there by... Lutheran and Oneida Nation comes back here. Down by 30, seven minutes left, third quarter. Winner of this game will play Goodman Pembine on Monday. And there was a air ball there by Jordan. And there's a turnover by Mills. And unofficially, I have 13 turnovers on the Oneida Nation Thunderhawks. Yeah. There's, looks like a young fan keeping score along with us. <laughs> But Chris, it's it's interesting that uh, um, Goodman Pembine, uh, b their first year as a co-op team, and prior to this year, they were both uh, both had their own school. One went went to the regional finals, and one had 13 wins. And I think uh, when you come buying a team like that, it's going to be a struggle for them early in the year. But by tournament time, they should be coming together. So it will be an interesting game. I'm assuming Lutheran's going to win. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that. but. And obviously, Coach Decker doesn't like something. It's a full timeout. So with that timeout, we'll take a quick break. Lutheran 44, the United Nation 16. I have my own problems to worry about. Those people in Africa don't want to help themselves. What's the point? Where's the proof? Actually, smart programs are saving lives. In just 10 years, over 15 million more kids are alive. All less than 1% of the total U.S. budget. How's that for proof? And today there are new vaccines that could save millions of more kids. Go to one.org and join the movement. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your voice. You're used to, that's, when, that's how an injury can happen. Yeah, we're just discussing. Coach Decker just wants to make sure the boys play well. One thing about Goodman Pembine, they did play a common opponent. They played Kohler in their opening game and pretty much mushed them 65 to 38. The Bombers not having a good year this year. Um, Chris, they did play Lena early in the year in the tournament, and uh, it was about a 12 to 15 point game victory for Goodman Pembine. But then again, there, there's that early in the year scenario again. Yep. Decker from way downtown, and he bangs in a three. Nice, comfortable rhythm shot. Little step back jumper. 17 now for Sam. Pretty special player, Sam Decker. Something he's going to have to be able to do at the next level is be able to shoot that three-pointer, especially in Bull Ryan's system. Right. There's a block by Hess. Here comes Mills down Main Street. No good. Decker with a rebound. And in a close game, might have outlet it, but instead, this brings it down. It's another three. Misses. Mills with the tip. Goes over to Cornelius. 
47-16. Jordan, number 23. Comanche Jordan, their leading scorer with just two points. They're still running their circle motion. Here's a three-point attempt by Cornelius. It's missed and Hess with the rebound. Outlets it over to Lipom. Lipom to Wheeler. Wheeler. He hasn't even attempted a three-pointer tonight, and he's a good three-point shooter. Redeker with a little turnaround basket. Yeah, when you're a big man in this offense, you, uh, you get that ball down low, you better take the shot. Redeker with four now. That could have been a turnover, and it, it is. is double dribble. 14 turnovers now. Hess, or excuse me, Jerson tells Hess to stay, and Decker's going to take a seat. Chris, you know, being a small school and having a son who's a junior here, I, I am Facebook friends with a number of these kids. And uh, up on my screen today, it popped up that today is Jake's uh, 15th birthday, Jake oh. Jerse. Just 15 years old, playing in a varsity. Yeah, doesn't de look look a day over 14. <laughs> now Nick Redeker has got to make that shot, miss that one there, but uh, most of the time he'll put that one in. And there's a hand check by Redeker. He's the first foul in the second half, and it comes at the 422 mark. 49 to 16, the second personal on Nick Redeker. It's a good point that the first foul with four minutes left. Uh, so the United Nation is doing a better job, but they're not getting any closer to the no. to where they need to be. Unfortunately not. Shot attempt and an offensive rebound and a putback. Working on his stats is Jordan. He's up to four points now, way off his average of 13. Sastro and Decker at the table waiting to come in the game. Jers to Lipom. Trying to get some dive pre drive penetration, but the Knight of Nations seems to be cutting it off. A little tip out of bounds there by Pointer. Yeah, Chris, like you said earlier, uh, now's the time to, to settle down and, and work on, on a solid offense, on things that you want to do. Um, they're, they're pretty patient on that penetration and dish and uh, see what's out there. Those things change a little bit with Zastro and Decker out there though. Yeah, Zastro trying to create some space there. We're running a little weave action here. Running some clock. Oh yeah. And then the back cut by Jers. Oh, and he missed the bunny layup. Won't get an easier opportunity than that and uh, Jacob would like to have that one back. You could see Zastro, as soon as he started going to the hole, he was looking for that cutter. It's 44 to 14 at the half. Both teams kind of struggling to start the third here. But this guy's not, as he's got six points now. All here in the second half. But it's a little bit too late as they find themselves down by 29. I believe the United Nation came up about two years ago and played the Kohler Lutheran Christian football team. So I've seen them before. Okay. And there was a miss there by Church who got hammered a little bit, no call. And there wasn't much room for him to go up with no. that shot. Cornelius on the swing and got Hess off his feet. And goes off of Hess there. Phil Lipom coming back in the game, six foot sophomore, as is number 55, Oscar Schuyler. He's already given a couple big screens. Yes, he has. <laughs> he's, he's made his presence <laughs> felt, <laughs> literally. I think Nate Hosenstein's back. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, right into that screen. <laughs> There's Mills with a nice jumper, but he just misses Redeker with a rebound. Nice strong rebound by Redeker. Good pass to Lipom and he gets tripped. And oh. he's down at the 10. Uh oh. I think he got, think he got a knee in the, in the hip or the thigh. When my, 
my wife and I, we often comment how uh, Phil is always on the floor, at least once or twice a game, if not more. He just goes hard to the basket. Yep. And those are the little things that, you know, successful teams need to do. You know, he's not going to get his 8, 10, 12 points a game, but he, you know, he does those little things. He is averaging just five points a game, but, you know, the defense and the scrapping hustle doesn't always show up in the box score. No, no, and his, his defense at that point guard position or at that two guard position there again, he just forced a turnover. Uh, pretty valuable for Lutheran tonight, uh, putting pressure on the ball. The United Nation wasn't able to handle it very well, and uh, that's a valuable role, especially when you have Sam Decker on your team, and when you have uh, Zastro and you have other guys that can score. It takes the pressure off you, you can concentrate on what, what you can do. That'll be the fourth foul there on Santiago as Decker goes to the basket and scores. Let's see if Sam can knock down the free throw. Ninth free throw attempt for uh, Lutheran and another miss. Minute and a half left, not a lot of scoring here in the third quarter. As uh, Lutheran's trying to run a little clock, showing a little class. So they lead 51 to 20. Cornelius just a freshman there, throws it away. And Sam just retreats it, looking to make a pass. Ooh, Redeker could have cut it, maybe been something there. Zastro going down Main Street, and the old left-hander puts her in. Just a six-point quarter for the United Nation. They've struggled on offense against this tough Lutheran D as we run down to 42 seconds in the third quarter. There's a bump by Lightpalm, and I think they're going to get that one. And, and uh, Phil kind of nods his head like, yeah, I, I, I know. Ben in for Sam and Hazi comes back in. Nathan Hazenstein, number 12, also into the lineup. Brian Sheely into the lineup. Because I'm sure we're going to see a boatload of substitutions in the fourth quarter. I would think so, yes. Uh, Ryan Sheely, uh, brother to Ashley Sheely, leading scorer for Lutheran girls team. Hey, and a three pointer there by Anthony Cornelius. Ryan is going through a nice growing spurt. He's just uh, really gotten taller, stronger. He's a good player. His uh, grandpa is uh, our resident photographer. Oh. And uh, it's also his birthday today. Oh, wow. And with 10 seconds left, Lutheran kicks it out of bounds. Save the turnover on the United Nation as they didn't look so, so sharp on that exchange. No, I, I think it, the pressure of the defense has been wearing them down. I think they're doing as best they can now to just get, try to score any which way they can. Close to a five second, he hit a three a minute ago and he gets another one, Anthony Cornelius. How about that young man? He's made some really nice shots today, Chris. Zastros misses at the buzzer, but that's the end of three quarters of play. You see Sheboygan Lutheran 55, the United Nations 26. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post on our site. I saw your post on our site. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1-800-RUNAWAY to make the connection. Best sex I've ever had. The details are kind of fuzzy, 
but I know it started off in the kitchen because there were definitely mashed potatoes involved. Her leg was like here and her head was like here. I still don't know how a human body could do that. I think she used to be in a circus or something. But the most important part about the best sex I've ever had was that it was consensual and it was protected. Very crazy three days though. <laughs> Welcome back to Lutheran High. We have one quarter of play. Jeff Frazenberg joining myself, Chris Wright. I want to thank the crew for coming out on a Saturday night. Doing this game. I love tournament action. And uh, we got some schools in Sheboygan and do some things. We got North Lutheran and the North girls all very high seated. So hopefully they'll make a good tournament run. And I'll tell you, Comanche Jordan. Finding his little zone here. Zero points in the first half. He's up to eight here. Cuts the deficit to 55-28, and Sam gets in there deep on Skyler. And I didn't think anyone could knock him down. <laughs> well, I think when you're uh, reaching behind you to try to block a guy who's going over the top of you, you lose your balance a little bit, Chris. I think that was it. There you see a nice picture of Sam. Nice, nice free throw there, Sam. Game should be here Monday night. We're not sure if we'll be here or not. And Light Palms just working them up the floor. Not, and there's that <laughs> screen by Skyler. You know, who's ever got Skyler should be calling that out. Redeker should be going screen, screen, screen. Absolutely. Because otherwise, that's what happens. Uh, I think one of the changes this fourth quarter, now Sam is guarding Comanche, where in the third quarter, uh, I think Wheeler was guarding him for a while, and Redeker took turns on him, and now they put Sam back on him. And down Main Street goes Jojo Santiago. Good recovery by Lipom. Yep. 57-30, minute play into the fourth. Decker tight. Ugh. Missed it. Redeker with the rebound. Another one he missed, and Skyler. Skyler Skying. <laughs> Very nice. Good shot attempt there by Santiago. Goes off. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeff. United Nation came in here a little undermanned and playing a very good team, but I'll tell you what, they're showing a lot of class and battling all the way to the end. I know the score is 57 to 30, but got a lot of heart. Yes, yeah, you're right, Chris. Uh, I think the foul trouble they got into uh, took a little wind out of their sails, but they're fighting. They're not giving yeah. up. And I thought Lutheran's been very classy and, you know, easily they could have run up the score. They just had an 11-point third quarter. And there's Hess with a basket. And it's not a bad idea to get some of these starters. There you see uh, Mike Theobald and Coach Decker, Nick Redeker doing his uh, bubblegum blowing <laughs> thing. But uh, give these uh, Lutheran kids some rest because they got two days to rest and they got to go again. Right? Jordan might get to his average at the rate he's going. He's got 10. Hess feeling it way off to the right though there. Everything looked good but the shot. I don't think he quite had the handle on the ball that he wished he had. You know, Chris, that Monday night game, that's that's a difficult uh, uh, game. You're, you're coming off a weekend, uh, first day back at school. Uh, Mondays are always tough at school. Different uh, day to play. You don't normally play on Mondays. No, although no. Lutheran has had a couple of games on Mondays this year. Uh, that might help them, but uh, it can be a whole different feel. Good decision there by Decker. And uh, coming in is Matt Gum, the senior. And here comes big Mike Mills also back in the game. 
Five minute mark. This is Devante Pointer. The senior gum on him. Gum had a couple big shots on his senior day here. A couple threes, a couple weeks back. And another turnover. There's too many turnovers by uh, the United Nation. I have 17 for them. Yeah, Matt Gum, he's another one of those players who has heart, uh, knows his role, accepts his role, knows the, knows the offenses, knows what to do. Trying the alley-oop to Sam. Opportunity for Jerse to guard a point. Another turnover by Oneida Nation. There's Lipom. Sam Decker, number one. Good hands by Mills there, number 15. Ooh. See, and this is why you don't want Sam Decker in the game with four minutes. No. I just don't want him to get hurt. Just got raked across the nose. Yeah, and uh, Skyler coming in for Mills. And that'll be Mike Mills, fifth foul. And uh, back into the game is Oscar Skyler. Sam with a chance to, a couple free throws. Ah, and I missed a basket by Lutheran before. <laughs> I stopped keeping track, Chris. Oh, Sam with a one of two trip there. 60. Coming in will be Hasenstein and Lightpalm. I would imagine Lightpalm will be coming in for Sam as, as yeah. he has earlier. Yep, and light palm for light palm will be coming in. I would think that <laughs> yeah. Phil would be coming out as well. There's a shot by Skyler, and he bangs one home. Uh, ben light palm is the lone junior on the team, Chris. Uh, Tuesday night's game, he had a breakaway and had a, a dunk for the, uh, his first dunk of the year, and it was really? it was exciting. The crowd just loved it. Uh, wow. Time out by Lutheran to get uh, the subs in, probably a good idea here. 60-34, that must have been exciting. <laughs> it was tremendously exciting. Uh, another Facebook moment, of course. <laughs> it's the world we live in today. Oh, yep, so Facebook, Twitter, sure. Winner of this game plays Monday night, Goodman Penman, and obviously it's gonna be Sheboygan Lutheran. And uh, hopefully you get a big crowd here like we have Tonight, I mean, like I said, I was at the North game before and a lot of basketball people were gonna come out here. There's the Coucher boys. JLS Tusky. Yep. Glenn Sager. Sa Glenn Sager there, yep. Scott Post. Oh yeah, there's Scott Post. His son played here, Taylor, a couple years back. Had this game been played last night, there was a rumor that Tommy Thompson was, was gonna be in the stands really? last night. And obviously with the weather, uh, yep. and I'm sure a tough schedule for him, I was not able to come tonight. Jacob Jurst now in here. We have basically all substitutes for Sheboygan Lutheran in here. There's Hess. Jacob Ames thinking about coming in the game. Nice JV player this year, the 6'3 sophomore, number 34. He'll be ch checking in in a minute. Jump one into Jers. Could have hit <laughs> Lightbomb on the cut, but we'd rather have Hess shoot. 
Rebound, light palm off the, off the back of the rim and in. Nice shot, nice soft shot over the top of the rim. Yeah, Jacob Ames has uh, had a nice season. He's uh, developing a nice outside shot as a big man. Uh, it's been a long Lutheran tradition here. It's a nice shot of Ben there. Eric Wiesman with that shot. Cameraman under the basket. I don't know how you always stand under there without getting blown over by somebody, but another turnover by the Oneida Nation with two minutes left. Lutheran's pushing and Lipom is shooting and it's missed. Under two minutes, Chris. Yep. After this game, I'll have a few interviews with a couple of the victorious Lutheran players. Skyler doesn't know what to do with it. And unfortunately, they didn't want to call the five second call, <laughs> but I think they had to. Yeah. That's a good opportunity to get some more players in the game. Cody Fentelman coming in, as is Taylor Zastro, who also had a nice JV season this year. Yes. In for uh, Matt Gum. Taylor's one of those rebounders like uh, the Ursan Ilyasova when he <laughs> rebounds, he, he can jump with his arms up, straight up. He's just long and he's just lean, or long arms and can get to the ball. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a Zastro pass up a shot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're in the game, you can shoot. Just an 18 point quarter for Lutheran. But they had such a nice lead, they nice. ran it down and Bethelman gets his point there. I thought Luther did a, showed a lot of class not running the score up here. Right. They, they easily could have uh, pushed the ball to the basket a little harder. Yep. They took it out a lot. There's a rainbow by... Uh, There's Astro with the long arm uh, rebound. Matoxin there shoots that one. Lipom's not afraid to put it up and he puts one in. Uh, Lester's JV team, uh, uh, my son was on that team, and uh, Ben was the resident three-point shooter. He w and, uh, and they ran plays for Ben to shoot that three, so there's another big guy that can shoot the three. And they're gonna count it, need him next time. We're rounding down to 20 seconds left as, oh, Jordan trying to get to his average. And Bentleman with the uh, turnover there. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Like I said, with Mike Martin not being here, uh, I'm glad you could sub in and help Lutheran watch a big victory for them. Well, thanks for asking. It was a pleasure, and uh, we always appreciate uh, TV8 coming over here and, and helping us show off our team and our boys. Yeah, I know that Lutheran's always treated us well, and there's a nice layup there by Santiago, which is just going to make the final score a 30-point deficit. Well, a victory for Sheboygan Lutheran as Hosenstein's trying to shake hands with somebody. <laughs> but that'll do it. And once again, Jeff, thanks so much for uh, coming out tonight. When I come back, I'll have a couple Lutheran players, but the final score is 66 to 36. Want to help? Make it easy on everyone. Send cash, the most effective form of disaster relief. CIDI.org. You can't text and pay attention to the world around you, and you definitely can't text and drive. 
Every year, deaths due to distracted and negligent driving are increasing. In fact, while drunk driving rates have dropped greatly, negligent driving fatalities have skyrocketed. Find out more at negligentdriving.com. Welcome back to Lutheran High with a 66-36 victory over the United Nation. Uh, nice job tonight by you guys. You had to come out, you know, tough night yesterday not playing. You got to sit a night to play, but you came out right away on fire, got a big lead, and basically put these guys away in the first half. Yeah, Coach uh, kept us prepared with the, the snow yesterday, so we were canceled. Coach kept us prepared, so we were set for this game. Coach did a nice job of that. Yeah, well, it's one of those things where all of a sudden, yeah, you're right with the snow and stuff. Now you got to play now and then on Monday. Uh, but you just got to take care of business. It's one of those situations where it's a step-by-step -step process to get to, to Madison, and this is just another step on the way. Yeah, we did a great job out there keeping the intensity up right off the start. Second quarter, the place exploded, kept the defensive intensity up the whole game. So we did a nice job on that. Even yeah. with the snow, yeah. Yeah, I thought that I talked to coach before the game. He said maybe put a little pressure on them, and you're going to full court them. And they really did struggle. They had about 12, 13 turnovers in the first half, and kind of set the tone for you guys defensively for you. Yeah, the defense just got our offense started. We got fast break points, and they didn't want to run the ball, so we pushed the ball the whole first half. Second half, we just got running on them, and we kept on scoring points and stopping them. So our defense definitely started us our offense. You guys like playing that full court press? Oh yeah, I love it. Uh, I kind of consider you kind of like the glue guy. You get your little points here, but you're always on the floor getting the little things like that. And, you know, you're just one of those guys that contribute to make the whole team and the unit work. And you got a lot of guys like yourself on the team. Everybody does their part. Yeah, exactly. Just know our role. Coach has been telling us, telling us that all year just to know our roles. And tonight it really showed that you just don't need to score. It can start in the defensive end, and then you'll get your points and rebounds. So just knowing your role definitely helped us a lot. Well, congratulations, Phil. Good luck on Monday. Nick, uh, one thing coming in, looking at the report a little bit, they were a little uh, smaller and their guards weren't so good, but their post players could play a little bit. And I thought you guys did a real nice job defensively, you know, controlling their bigger kids. Yeah, it was definitely a challenge. Um, you know, we kind of looked at it, and I was told originally that they were a little bit on the small side coming out of the locker room to warm up. That definitely was not the case. Um, number 15 was a really good player. Uh, he backed me down a couple of times. We flip-flopped, played to our strengths. We were able to talk it through, and we had a really good second quarter like you saw. Yeah, I thought another thing you guys did a real nice job was on the rebound tonight. It seemed like they got one chance and out, you know, and so you guys were really controlling the glass. You know, they got one opportunity, which, you know, instead of two and three chances, and everybody's got to box out and rebound to make it work. Exactly. That's what helped us get on that big run. The fact that they only had one shot for offense for every three, four times we did, that was a huge momentum boost. We got to keep doing that throughout the entire playoff. We got to just keep our defensive intensity up. I thought another thing you guys did tonight really was distribute the ball well. You got a lot of people contributing on offense, and I thought the passing game and your offense really flowed all night, and you're going to have to have that to, to, to keep the steps going on the ladder to get to state. Our team is never tougher when we pass the ball real well, plain and simple. When we can move the ball, when everyone can get a touch, when we can work it in inside and outside, that, that's when we're the strongest. You got a uh, full group of guys now to practice too, and everybody got in the game tonight, so everybody must be pretty happy about that. Oh, the locker room was <laughs> jacked. It was awesome. Well, continue that through on uh, Monday. Congratulations to both you guys. Take, keep keeping steps to the state tournament. With that, we'd like to thank the crew for coming out on a Saturday for the 66-36 victory. It's still snowing out there, but they came out here to, to take care of things. And we do miss Marty, even though he's in Philadelphia with that. But most likely, like he says, he'll see you down the road. For myself and the crew, I'm Chris Wright. We'll say see you later, and thanks for watching tonight's basketball game.